from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's week 16 of the NFL on EA Sports. Lamar Jackson and the Green Bay Packers taking on Phillip Rivers and the Tennessee Titans. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tennessee Titans and the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a time. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. Leading them out, the reigning MVP of the National Football League in his third season now from Louisville, it's Lamar Jackson. And I like his honesty, because when we sat down with him, I mean, he was the first one to say, that was on me last week, a really poor performance. Way too many interceptions, didn't find the end zone throwing the ball, put his defense and his special teams in some real jeopardy. But somehow, yeah, they won the game. Won. Yeah, I mean, what I loved about is when he told us about the defense kind of corralled him in the locker room and said, all right, my well, man, we're not going to do that again this week, are we? In the yard at the 34-yard line. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and 10 at the Jackson from the shotgun. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and 10. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want to. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. That's good for a Green Bay Packer. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now Cook. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Zadarius Smith able to get him down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Third and four. From the gun, it's Jackson. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And this one is no good. He missed it. No good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Nothing, nothing. nothing. 
And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on it. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... It's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. Rivers now from the 50. Got him, man. It's the rookie Jerry Judy. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, Titans. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Shaquille Griffin on the tackle. Right, check on the numbers for Kenyon Drake last week. 13 carries, 64 yards. But we know they've clinched a playoff spot, but there's plenty of football left to play. And I'm a proponent of continuing to do what you've done throughout the season, especially with teams that are heavy run teams. Because if you throttle back too early, you lose the rhythm of the run game, not just with the runner, but with the offensive line as well. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Third down. From the gun, Rivers. Open man is Howard, the tight end. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. From the left hash, this from 46. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Now come the Packers for our next drive as we take a look at the playoff race in the NFC coming into the weekend. And they have secured that spot in the playoffs, clinching the NFC North division, in fact. So for the moment, they would be hosting a wild card game in round one. And I think it is cause for celebration. Let's not get hung up on the fact that only one team now gets a bye in the first round. Win your division, get to the playoffs, celebrate that. And by the way, they are guaranteed a home game. That's a good way to start the playoffs. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Time, it's Henry. Rashad Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. From the gun, Jackson. A very quick pass to Ridley. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Carter, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? The jet sweep, here's Cooper. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. It's now second and six. To throw on second and six, Jackson. And he will find Ridley, that's complete. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. At the 13 yard line. Derrick Henry. 
And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Nine-yard line, second and six. No score after one on EA Sports. With no score. Six yards left on second down. Running the sweep, Hilton with it. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. It's a gain of two. Brings up third. Operating from the gun, Jackson. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Calvin Ridley, his third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Applause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. Took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that makes the score 7-0. Taken about seven yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7 nothing is the score as they begin with a first down. Play action now. Rivers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Khalil Mack. In there to bring him down, and that is sack number 17 now on the season. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. to try again after the sack. Rivers, he'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. Rivers, it'll be a pickup of just two, and they're gonna face an uphill battle here on third and long. And it's third down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Got a man, it's Judy complete. Uh, he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. This challenge, the refs have to take a peek and see whether or not the receiver was able to dot the eye with both feet. Well, maybe through the catch. And the challenge pays dividends. The ref overturns the play. Everyone gets a bonus on this one, Brandon. The coach upstairs who says signaled down and said challenge it, and the head coach for pulling the red flag. 
A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. Out comes Calvin Ridley and the offense for their next drive. Well, he's within shouting distance of a 1,000-yard season. Going to need a pretty good finish, though, if he wants to reach that mark. Well, I like how you phrased it, partner. He is within shouting distance. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. But he needs a big game in there, right, to make sure that he gets it. So you know that during the week, in practice, and, and look, he asked for the ball all the time anyway. He's really going to ask for the ball and let his quarterback know he's open. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Marlon Humphrey on the coverage. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And he finds Cook. And he's going to have a Packers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. And Jackson throwing once more. He's got the hook up to John Brown on the right side. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Third and one. On third and one, Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw is a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. Titans, nothing. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never got a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this shot. Poor punter. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen. There's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Running. It's Drake. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Throwing Rivers. Got a man, Slayton. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Him up five first and 15. They'll run with Drake. 
And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Second and nine from the 44. A gain of six brings up second and nine. At the 40. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. That's going to be caught by Judy. Rivers. And this is good 40. 16 yards. First down, Tennessee. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Rivers on the money, complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Julio Jones. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. From the gun, Rivers. Catch made by Slayton. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 23. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. That's complete to Slayton. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. To the air again here, Rivers. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Jerry Judy, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And the results in the end, the Titans touchdown. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 their own 27. Getting set to go again. We get a look at Amari Cooper as he heads back out there now. Second quarter, a guy like him, no catches, so that's the surprising part, but they're winning, so maybe they've been able to do some other things effectively, I guess. And they found other ways, haven't they? Because the receivers will tell you, offense needs to run through us, but they're managing to get it done in this ball game without having to actually do that. I wouldn't expect them to stay silent for just coming at some point. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson setting up the screen for Cook. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Operating from the gun, Jackson, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He's now third down and 14. There's Jackson on third and long. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw again is Jackson. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. Tyler. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On for the field goal. 
a 46-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Makes the score. Packers 13. Titans 7. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. The Titans take over first and ten. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. to a second and 11. Here's Rivers. This one is Slayton over the middle. Rivers, the reception good for seven. It's third down. A seven yard gain on the play. And it's third down. From the gun, Rivers. He's gonna hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Back 11 yards, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Brings up second and two. Throwing again on second down. Jackson, and he finds the tight end, Reed. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards the pick up, first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. That'll be complete to Cook. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Behind the line of scrimmage. On 
second down. It's Henry. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Five yards on the play there, and the drive will continue. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way down to the five. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. He did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. A gain of three brings up second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. From back at the three now, this is third and goal. Jackson from the shotgun. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. D Ford in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. The field goal, a 27-yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right through. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16 to 7. 16, Titans 7. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Turn with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
first down, Rivers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made, no grounding. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. They'll throw again. Rivers. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A good pick up there, 22. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. run here for J.D. McKissick and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage officially no gain on the play and it's second down so after the run for no gain here's second and ten at the 20 yard line now Drake and able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A gain of seven yards. And it's third down. Third and short yardage, Rivers. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. The sack by big number 98, Linval Joseph. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 44 yards out, left hash. The kick by Parkey is good. And the deficit trimmed to six now at 16-10. 16, 10. 16 Titans 10. so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 20. And now back out comes the offense. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Jackson now gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Yeah, Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Here's 
here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he'll send this one into the cold Lambeau night. Turns on the punt, no return, and it'll be Titan football. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Rivers now to throw on first down. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And they're set up in a golden position here right around the 10-yard line. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. From the gun, Jackson. Now he's flushed out, and he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A nine-yard touchdown run. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Well, Lamar Jackson remembers seven rushing touchdowns in his MVP season of 2019, and he's into the end zone here as well. And when you hear that seven rushing touchdowns in 2019, doesn't it surprise you a little bit? Well, you almost expect more, right? Yeah, in your mind, you're thinking Lamar Jackson got the end zone a bunch more. That might be what he does in 2020. Jackson, from the gun, he'll throw, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it, man. Because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Three yards the game there, second down. Brings up second and seven. And Working out of the gun, Rivers. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The Titans on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Yards to go. That one will be incomplete. He caught it, but could not stay in bounds for the long connection. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Rivers on fourth down. It's caught. Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 
pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Joey Bosa in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. That's number four, sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie, and that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Marcus May with a pick. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Henry. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Down to a knee goes Jackson, and that should seal it. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for the Packers, it'll be a 13th win on the year, and they'll hit the road next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for the Titans, it's a loss that could wind up hurting a little as they fall now to 11-4. and And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.